Children learn through their senses and sensory play is crucial to their brain development. I honestly believe that I'm helping my child get smarter by encouraging this sort of activity. Giving children opportunities to actively use their senses not only help them refine the five senses but also develop their cognitive skills, fine and gross motor skills, literacy, numeracy, language and problem solving skills. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Heisey. I'm a working mom of a two-year-old toddler named Dalina. In today's video, I'm going to share Montessori sensorial activities you can set up at home in more of a DIY fashion. Montessori materials tend to be quite pricey because they are made out of natural materials and I personally don't believe that you need the expensive authentic Montessori toys for a home setting. You might choose to have inexpensive and handmade versions of Montessori materials and I think that's completely fine. So I've decided that I want to share some of the authentic Montessori sensorial shelf work as well as Montessori inspired sensory activities that you can set up at home with the things that you already have at home. Dr. Montessori divided into eight categories within the scope of sensorial work and I'm going to share one or two activities in the each category. Each Montessori sensorial activity triggers just one sense allowing child to focus on the particular sense. So the first activity I'm showing you is a color matching activity. You need five colored cups, five felt balls or pom-poms in a bowl and a spoon and ask your child to transfer the colored felt balls into the matching colored cups. You can give your child tongs or chopsticks to pick up the material to help them practice fine motor skills. Each material I'm showing you in this video has a control of error to allow Alina to self-correct herself. So for example, she placed the orange felt ball in the cup with the blue paper and at the end she notices that the blue felt ball has nowhere to go and realizes that she made a mistake. This encourages her to process the information herself and find the answer to the problem independently. Color mixing jar is a wonderful sensory experience for children to see how colors mix and form another colors. I made one with the Voss water bottle for a light table activity and it was way too heavy and big for Alina to shake it to see how the colors change. So I got this mini jars from Amazon and it's a lot easier for Alina to carry and shake the bottle. So Alina and I made five jars together. So let me quickly show you how to make it. Pour some water into a cup and add a few drops of food coloring and then pour some baby oil into another cup and then add some oil based paint or oil based food coloring. Then pour the colored oil into the bottle on top of the water and ta-da! This is it. And I also cut and laminated the colored paper for color matching activity. So Alina is to shake and mix the two colors in the bottle and to match the color of the bottle with the colored paper. So the bottle with red and green will turn into brown after mixing and the bottle with blue and yellow will turn into green after mixing. This is Alina's favorite activity on the shelf at the moment. She does this first thing in the morning multiple times a day so I highly highly recommend this activity for your little one. The Montessori sound cylinders are a traditional Montessori sensorial material and you can easily DIY this. You need six spice jars to make two identical sets that make a distinctive sound when shaken. The jars are graded from very soft to loud. I used salt, rice and glass beads and I covered the jars with the leftover wallpaper that I used for our cubby house. Then I got stickers on the lid to show that they are pairs. So you present the material on a tray and your child selects a jar with the blue sticker shakes it, listen to the sound it makes, and attempts to match it with the jars with the pink sticker that makes the same noise. Once your child thinks that she found the match, she can flip the jar and check the bottom and see if they actually match. If your sounds are distinctive enough, the sound will be self-correcting and your child will be able to match the jars all by herself. Smelling cylinders are one of the authentic Montessori activity you can find in the sensorial area of the Montessori classroom. They are to isolate your child's sense of smell. You can reuse the same spice jars that you use for the sound cylinder activity. You need six spice jars split into two sets of three and three pairs of different smells. I have some fresh rosemary from our garden and also have cotton balls that were soaked in lime juice and vanilla extract. So you present the material on the tray and your child selects a jar with the blue sticker, smells it and attempts to match it with the jars with the pink sticker that has the same smell. If the smells are distinctive enough, it'll be self-correcting and your child will be able to match the jars all by herself. 
We had lots of velcro dots at home, so I made a sorting activity with them. I made five hooks and five loops and put them in a bowl, and I asked Alina to fill each dot to see which ones are soft and which ones are rough, so she can sort them out. Alternatively, look around the house and find items with smooth and rough texture and put them in a basket and let your child explore each item and ask your child to sort them out. So in this basket, I have a bean bag, a smooth pebble, Alina's necklace and a wooden block for smooth items. And for rough items, I have a dried gum nut, a steel wool, a nail file and a lava volcano rock. I got three bottles that are the same size but different in weight and color. This activity is to introduce and refine the concept of the barrack sense and how things can weigh differently. I asked Alina to lift each bottle and see which one's heavy and which one's light. Being blindfolded is another way to have fun with this activity as your child can practice judging weight in the absence of any visual cues. This activity is to teach children how to distinguish between different temperatures using the bottles that are the same size but different in temperature. You just need to fill matching small bottles with different temperatures of water. So I've got warm water, room temperature water and cold water in each bottle. Right after preparing the bottles, I invited Alina over to explore them. I asked her to use her sense of touch to put them in order from coldest to warmest. This was fun, quick and very easy sense of touch activity for Hot list focusing on temperature. <laughs> Tasting bottles are commonly found in the sensorial area of the classroom and kids learn how to match the same tasting bottles. Alina's just a little too young for this activity so we did blind drink taste test. This activity is great for younger toddlers as it's a lot easier than the traditional Montessori tasting activity. So I cut a cake box into half and made four holes on top of the box for straws and then we had four flavors of liquid in the bottles. So we had coconut water, orange juice, water and and milk and I asked Alina to taste it and guess what it is. The purpose of the mystery bag is to connect a sense of touch to a child's memory. So the child touches the object, they form a picture of it in their mind and identify the object in the absence of any visual cues. To do this activity, you need a bag or a basket and a collection of small objects which your child is familiar with and which your child can name. So this is it. I really hope this video gives you guys some ideas and inspiration. If you have any questions about these activities, please feel free to leave comments down below. I would love to hear from you guys. If you enjoyed this video and want to watch more videos like this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I create videos about Montessori at home, Montessori activity ideas and Montessori inspired home makeover. So if that sounds like something you want to watch tomorrow, please subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out the future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!